Hey everybody, hope you're well. Just a very quick video to talk through how we can use CPDLC on Beyond ATC and at the minute the Fenix aircraft. A little bit of setup needed, it's, it's not tough, it's not hard, um, but quite easy. But the one thing to note is you really need to close the sim before you do it, otherwise the Fenix app may crash and cause you some problems. A couple of things to note uh, as well. You need to be on the experimental branch of uh, the Beyond ATC, and I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you need to be a partner or bought the support branch um, to be able to see this at the minute. I don't think it will be long until um, it's on the, the release branch, but you need to be on experimental. Um, second thing, you can only do uh, PD, PDC um, requests at the minute. There's no one route log on for CPDLC at the moment, but it is coming. So what we'll need to do is shut the sim and I'll show you what to do next it's really straightforward okay with the sim now closed we need to open the Fenix A320 app got mine on the desktop wait for it to sign in and then through here through the streaming service uh, for the sorry for the ACAR service change it you've got Hoppy which is for uh, player to player networks like VATSIM, obviously say intention and now beyond ATC. Select beyond ATC and click apply. Get the tick. If you try and do that when the sim is loaded, I had an issue where it crashed, it just wouldn't work. Um, and the app locked up and, and I had to restart the sim. So it's easier just doing it outside for advice. Okay, let's jump back into the sim now and let's have a look at how PDC works. Okay, so we're back in the sim and we're ready now to have a look at how do we actually request a PDC clearance. So I'm just gonna go and start Beyond ATC. And we will log in and we'll wait a minute let's just jump back in the cockpit a couple of things we need to do first we should start seeing our passengers load in a minute down to our mech do first job is Atsu, AOC, and then you do your flight initialization by requesting from here. Now we're going to go into init request. We're going to request our flight plan. These we must do this first for this to work. We're going to be easy. Two zero six four. Flight index four and a flight level of two eight zero. I normally put the chopper pause in and the temperatures, but for this demo, I'm not going to. Back to Atsu. Back to AOC. 80C request and pre departure clearance. And we need to know what that ATIS is, so let's just quickly jump on to ATIS. Wind 210 at Niner, visibility 10 miles or more, scattered at 2600, temperature 1 Niner, dew point 12, QNH 1013, VFR conditions, landing and departing runway 15, transition level 060, advise on initial contact, you have information mic. Information mic, okay, let's just, let's just put Airport that off for a minute. Mic. 0946 Zulu, wind 210 at 9. Now you see on here you've also got an envelope and that will show you, let's turn the traffic off, any messages that are going backwards and forwards. So we know we are at gate number 15. 
we know our information is Mike and we know we want EGBB and what we'll do now is send that through and what we're now waiting for is a response back you should get a blue flashing light here, a telephone sound and also our DDRM will display the message she can't see the white lines on some aircraft, it's turned dim like so so just make sure you've got it turned up so you can see it check in beyond ATC first we should have some information in here which we have but for complete immersion let's wait until that comes through on a CPD or C what we should also get is a company message let's just go back to here Received message a pre-departure clearance clearance has been sent and received stand by now I can hear the blue message on here and there we go so we, we are clear to Edinburgh rather than runway 15 departure move on Yankee squawk 1705 80 men when ready call 121805 and we click Wilco and we send that message through and we can leave that on here now to see so that's now been received by the ATC and you can also see the message come back on, on here and then well, by the sound of it we've got another message back confirming that just close that off cool and that's it the next stage of this will be well, why are we bouncing up and down oh we've got another message ATC request status and CDA received brilliant and confirmed so we can close that off and um, the next why are we bouncing? Let's have a look. I have no idea why we, it seems to be every time I change my camera it bounces, but never mind, that's something I'll look at another time. Um, so the next stage from Beyond ATC will be the en route um, PDC, but for now that's not yet ready. Um, so there you go, quick video just to show you how to use CPDLC on Beyond ATC. Um, if you find that useful, please subscribe and like, uh, it really helps. We're only a little channel, we don't have uh, 1 million viewers, uh, subscribers, I think we've got 1,200. Um, but I do try and provide little helpful tips when I come across them and also some flights and things like that. So uh, do me a favour, if you wouldn't mind, click the buttons. Alright guys, thanks, take care, we'll see you soon. Bye.